Hi, this is Andrew Mambi, and I'm thrilled to talk to you today about ATL Nomad for the iPhone, Android, and Chrome OS devices. The strategy for HCL Nomad has been simple and straightforward from day one. We wanted to give you alternative ways and places and means to run your Notes and Domino applications wherever you've wanted. Today, that means a mobile device. So what is HCL Nomad? You can think about it as a lightweight client built for iOS and Android for accessing those Domino applications that I mentioned. It's comparable in functionality to the client for application access. So that means we support your app formulas and Lotus script, your local replicas when working offline, field level security and encryption, and essentially you can run the application unmodified. But as you'll hear and see in the demonstrations, you can do some things to modify it. So here's Max Sutton to take you through a demo of Nomad on iPhone. Here I have HCL Nomad installed on an iPhone X through our test flight beta program. I'm going to open the application by tapping the application icon. This brings me to the home page which has the recent applications. These are all the applications I have opened most recently. I can easily open an application here by tapping its thumbnail. I'm going to open the weather application by tapping the icon. This opens the weather application. The weather application takes advantage of the GPS hardware on the iPhone using the new Notes GPS class, which is available with Notes V11, and uses that GPS with Notes HTTP request and Notes JSON navigator classes in order to uh, take our GPS coordinates, send it to a service, and retrieve the weather forecast. So here you can see that the weather information is available to me all this week. One nice thing about this application is that it is vertically aligned so it scrolls nicely on the iPhone. This is done by using app platform specific so that the developer is able to identify that the application is opening on an iPhone and is able to open the correct page. Next, I'll open the Discussions mobile application. This is a Domino application that we have been developing with business partners to prove that you can easily make a great mobile experience using a Domino application for an iPhone or other mobile device like an iPad or an Android tablet. You can see that there is great content listed in every record within the single column view, and we can interact with the content easily by, well, first we can double tap to open a record. And you can see that this record has various different bits of information uh, and different actions that we can perform on it. Um, but going back to the view, you can long press on it to populate this action sheet. The long press is equivalent to a right click in notes. And all the actions here are actions that have been included in the right click menu. We can easily perform add comment by tapping that action and this will open a comment compose here we can enter text for the subject and body and then press save in addition to the long press there are other ways that we can interact with the application one great way is to use the floating action menu button the floating action menu button hovers over the view on the bottom right hand side of the screen. You can see it now, it's a gray icon. I can tap the button and this will populate a action sheet with various different menu items. This is a new feature available in HCL Nomad version 1.0.6 which is currently in beta. The actions here are included 
for the action mobile action menu using designer v11 for this application you can see that they've included new topic for the action menu i can tap this and you'll see that this will open up a new topic compose and i can type in test there's also a tags feature here which will open various different tags that we can tag this record for. I will press save and you can see that my new record has been populated within the view. And that is HCL Nomad running on an iPhone. That was great, Max. Now show me something on Android. HCL Nomad opens to the Home tab. This is where we have the Recent Applications. The Recent Applications is a list of your applications that you have opened most recently. On the top left-hand corner is where your most recent applications will appear. Also on the Home tab is the Menu button in the top left-hand corner. When tapped, it gives the user different options to interact with HCL Nomad, like opening an application or going into replication. Now I will open the most recent application that I have opened, the wine tastings application. I will do that by tapping the icon. You'll see the wine tastings application opens. This is an application developed by Tio Heselmans a friend of ours who has allowed us to use this application for demoing. This application is great because it has a very nice looking graphical interface. To exhibit that, I will tap the country to look for a wine by country. This opens a map of the world where I can select a country in order to retrieve a list of wines for me to select from. I'm going to select the country Europe by tapping the area in which Europe resides. Here you see a list of wines has populated here where I can select and browse by country and year. There's also a rating on the right hand side. I can drill down by choosing the specific country in which I would like to review the wines. I will now select France from this list. This gives me a list of French wines in which I can select and review. I will select this wine as it's highly rated. I'll double tap the record and this opens the document. Here on this document, you can see that there is various different fields that provide different information for me to review. I can use the navigation on the left hand side to look at the tasting notes by tapping that. I can take a look at the wine label by tapping wine label. If I were to create a new entry, I could easily take a picture of a wine label using the camera on my Android tablet. I can also select similar wines. And this will give me a list of wines that are similar. I can go back to the home page and choose a different way to browse the wines. I will now select search. I can drill down by country or I can take a look at the grapes that are being used. And here I'm just dragging my finger on the screen to scroll down the list. And I can select one. And you see that there are different records. By choosing a record, this application will load a nice graphic on the right hand side that gives me more information about the wine. And of course I can double tap on the record in order to open the record and get more information.
that is the wine tasting application running on HCL Nomad on Android. Next I'll open the mail application and work through a few emails here on HCL Nomad running on Android. I'll open the mail application by tapping the icon. The mail application opens to my inbox and a view list in which I can scroll by dragging my finger on the screen to review the different emails that are available to me to review. I have a few unread emails here and I would like to open them and respond to them. The first one is from Bob. I can open the email by double tapping the record. Bob wants to know what new features we can highlight for HCL Nomad on Android. I can respond to this quite easily here on HCL Nomad running on Android. First I'll tap reply from the action bar and reply with history. This will open a compose. I have a file here saved on this Android tablet which has a list of various different HCL Nomad features. I can import the data using the import functionality available in the toolbar. I will now tap the icon. Choose from files and select HCL Nomad features here. And you'll see that quickly the information that is saved in that rich text file is imported here in my compose. I can send this off to Bob quickly by just pressing the send button in the action bar. I will now take a look at the next unread email I have available to me in the inbox. Again I will double tap the unread record. This email is from Rick. Rick would like a high res image of the application icon forwarded to him. Easily enough done, I will tap reply. Again this will open the compose. This time instead of using the import, let's attach the icon to the compose. I would do this by using the attach action available in the toolbar, which is the paperclip icon. By tapping that icon, I get a, a submenu here where I can choose from files, choose from the tablet's photos, or I could take a picture. I will choose from files. And here's the image of the application icon. You'll see that that is quickly attached to the email. And I will now press send. That email is now sent. Great, so let's go back to the home screen. You'll see that since mail was the last application that I had open, it is now on the top left hand side of the recent applications list. Also, let's take a look at the replications tab by going to the menu and tapping replication. And you'll see these two applications that I've been using today were running offline. And since I did some work within the mail application, I should go ahead and replicate it. I'll tap replicate all. And then within a few moments, you'll see that replication is complete. That is HCL Nomad running on an Android tablet. Thanks, Max. That was a great demo. I want to go on to talk about a couple of different areas. Firstly is deployability of HCL Nomad. And we're addressing it in two specific ways. First, with the addition of Marvel Client for HCL Nomad, taking the Panagenda Marvel Client technology and including the client within the product, we're able to more easily manage your recent applications, your local replicas, your connections documents, and so much more. I encourage you to check this out. The second area is really in, under enterprise mobility management support. So check out this QR code to learn more about what we can actually do. So whether it's basic settings or advanced settings or actually restricting the use of certain capabilities on the device, we can improve the manageability of the Nomad deployment inside your enterprise. 
As you can see from Max's demonstration, there's some areas that we're, we're striving to focus on to improve the look and feel of the applications. So we've made some changes to the Domino Designer to be able to support HCL Nomad deployments. So specifically in this case, we've added a new column property to hide a column from mobile. Also, if you've also checked uh, other places where you're hiding text from a mobile device, those are honored by HCL Nomad. If that wasn't enough, we've also added designer changes to give you new action display properties. So either to include new actions in the mobile actions button, which you saw, either to add another action when you swipe left or when you swipe right. And as you saw in the demonstration uh, given by Max, uh, we've added the capabilities of the long press, which is the equivalent to the right click. And we've also added this new floating action menu button. So as you can see from the presentation, it's really helping to improve the usability of the overall application itself. So I have one final area around the designer changes to share with you. And that's specifically a new app formula variable called app platform. So that enables you to pull specific device information into your application. So in Lotus Script, you can actually make some adjustments. So we give you these at uh, formulas for the OS name, the version, and you can figure out whether it's an iPad or an iPhone. As you can see from this example, and you saw in the demonstration, it allowed Teo Hussman to actually optimize the look and feel of his wine app according to the real estate available in iPhone. These are very simple and but yet powerful ways that you can optimize your application to make it work within the form factor you provided with the individual device itself. It's incredible to think it was only uh, March of 2018 when we demoed the first version of Nomad running on an iPad. And since then, we GA'd and shipped that product earlier this year running on an iPad. And I'm glad to say that we've been running the beta of a version of iPhone and Android that you've just seen in Chrome OS for a while now. And we expect to ship that by the end of the year. What's exciting to us is how we continue to further develop that type of capability to be able to run your applications anywhere that you would like. But the story doesn't stop there. We're busily investing in using technologies such as WebAssembly to take the HCL Nomad capabilities and run them natively on a browser. We believe this capability will be a game changer for organizations looking to reduce their footprint on the desktop and also how they maximize the use of those existing proven mission critical applications. So as you've seen from the demonstrations, there's no better way to find out more about this product than actually going out and downloading it and trying it for yourself. There's documentation available if you would like, but I would also encourage you to sign up for any of the future betas, not only for the iPad version, the iPhone and Android version, but also when the WebAssembly version comes available as a beta in 2020. Thank you very much for taking your time to go through the presentation today.